Subscapers and welcome to Plague's End Quest Guide. The quest equipments are Making History, Within the Light, and Catapult Construction. The skill requirements are 75 Agility, Construction, Crafting, Dungeoneering, Herplor, Mining, Prayer, Ranged, Summoning, and Wood Cutting. The items needed are 3200 coins, Mourner Gear and Gas Mask, Put them on. If you don't have those, I will show you how to get them next. Weapon and ammo, I would highly recommend using magic and fire spells, so bring around 500 air runes and fire runes. Also a super defense potion, which is a 3 dose one, do not use it yourself, it is for the quest. Have the following items in your bank, 1 rune bar, 1 gold charm, 1 green charm, 1 crimson charm, 1 blue charm, 1 plant cure, 10 magic logs, and 200 spirit shards. Now the recommended items, one super anti potion, one super restore potion, one combat stat boosting potion, one traveler's necklace, if you don't have the mono gear, bring that, otherwise you won't need it. A crystal teleport seed with some charges, you can recharge it at the elves you talk to during roving elves. Also a ring of kinship, have it in your bank, fill your inventory with food, and leave 7 free inventory slots. The recommended unlocks are lodestones to Eagle's Peak, Ardoin, Tyronwyn, Portsrim, and have some quick teleport charges from using Vizpacks. The enemies are between level 70 to 103. Let's go! If you don't have the Mourner gear, right click your Traveler's Necklace, rub it and select Outpost. You can skip this section if you already have more gear, but otherwise keep going west. You can also get here by using the Eagle's Peak Lodestone and by running south from there. When you see the gates to your south, go over there. Kill one mourner and pick up the gear. This time we do not have to wash it, so it is good to go. Drop the scroll, put on the Mourner gear, and this part is for everybody. Activate the Crystal Teleport Seed, we are heading to Letia. Head east, and head to the bank. Deposit your armor, make sure you have mono gear and the gas mask on. Talk to Arianburn. Select the first chat option, let's go. Accept the quest, select the chat options, I have the mono disguise with me. I'm ready to teleport. Head west and enter the door. Go north and open the door. Select the chat options we thought we saw a mouse. It might get into the food stores. We knew you were busy, so we dealt with it. Head west and talk to a mourner. Talk to Eastin Edern. Select the chat options. The captain wants you to hurry. Head north and climb up the stairs. Go northwest and go to the house. Talk to the mayor. Select the second chat option. I've got a report from Eastin Edern. Go south. We are heading to the bridge. Talk to the mourner and select the chat option. The mayor wants you to distribute the food to the crowd. Go north, we are returning to the house.
talk to the mayor and select each other option. The cards are distributing it to the crowd. Click on the nearby disk to take the Ayerbert master plan. Head southeast and we are going back downstairs. Talk to Eastin Adern and select the chat options. I have a document with Lord Ironworth's plans here. How can we stop him? Use the lodestone to Ardoin. We are heading to the East Ardoin Church. So go southwest from here and then south. Outside of the church, you should see the counselor. Talk to him. Select the chat option. I need to show you this document. Go west and to the West Ardoin Civic Office. When you get past the gate, Keep going west. And it is this long building to your northwest. Enter it and climb up the eastern staircase. Go east and talk to Breivik. Select the chat options. I need to show you this document. If you suspected, why didn't you do anything? We need to overthrow the mourners, remove one mourner piece, and go downstairs. Go to the northern building. Talk to Ted or Marta and select the first chat option. I need your help to overthrow the mourners. Head south and near the dungeon entrance there is Yetik. Talk to him and select the first chat option. We would, if we tore down the city's walls, join my revolution. Head southwest and it is the most southwestern corner building. Go over there and talk to Nurse Sarah. Select the first chat option. I'd feel better if you joined my revolution. Go northwest. Northwest of the graveyard, you should see Carla. Talk to her. Select the chat option, join my revolution and avenge your son. Go west towards the underground pass entrance. Talk to Koftik and select the first chat option. I want to help you overthrow the mourners. Use the lodestone to Ardoin. Next we are talking with Elena. Go west and use the agility shortcut. Enter the house to your west and talk to Elena. Select the first chat option, yes, and it's time to stop them. Exit through the door and go to West Ardoin, so it is southwest from here, and go through the gate. We 
we are heading to the church, so keep going west. It is the second building to your south. Go over there and talk to any NPC except the priest. Select the chat option yes, I'll explain everything and then we'll strike. Enough talk, it's time to strike. Head northeast towards the mourners headquarters. Click on the door and kill all the mourners. After you have defeated all of the mourners, go through the western door and climb down the trap door. Kill all of the mourners in the hallway. Go to the southeastern room and kill the head mourner. Select the interruptions. I have some questions. How were you going to summon the Dark Lord? Enough questions. You didn't show mercy to the plague victims, now die. Go north and climb up the stairs. Climb up another staircase. Open the door and replace the standard. Go back, climb down the stairs, exit the Mono headquarters, and head towards King Latha's castle. So it is the gate to your south, and after that, keep going east. We are going just to the entrance of the castle. Talk to Sir Edmund and select the chat option yes. Go west and head upstairs. We are heading to King Latas, so it is the middle room upstairs. Talk to King Latas. Kill Sir Hugo. Talk to King Latas and select the chat option you need to pay with your debt. Use the crystal teleport seed and head east. We are talking with Arianvun next. Select the first chat option. I'm ready to teleport. Talk to Eastin Aaron and select the chat options. Okay, what do I do now? Go on. Yes, teleport me to Letia now. To your north, 
talk to queer. Select teacher options. I need to find the elders of briefness. Click on the nearby bookcase and select the first chat option, The Lost Elders. Click on the book to read it. Talk to Queer and select the chat options. I need to find the Elders of Briftiness. Lord Amlod. More. Lady Mylar. That's all. Go south to the bank. Deposit your food and take 10 magic locks with you. You can also deposit the traveler's necklace. Now we are trying to find some symbols. Go west to the ranging shop. Rotate your camera a little bit. You should see a symbol on the wall. So click on that. Go southeast to the southern building. And here's a symbol on the south wall. So click on that. Go northwest to the clothing store and head upstairs. There is a symbol on the western wall, so click on that. Climb down the stairs, head to the bank. And there should be a symbol on the eastern wall, so click on that. Go west and climb up the stairs. Go northeast and there is a symbol on the northern wall, so click on that. Head west and climb down the stairs. Click on the statue hotspot to build it and climb up stairs. Talk to Kellyn and select the chat option. It's time I'm gathering the clan leaders. Climb down the stairs and head to the bank. For this part, make sure you have 3200 coins. Equip your weapon and armor. Make sure you bring ammo and runes, depending on your combat style. Bring one third dose of a super defense potion and do not use it yourself. Also one rune bar, one plant cure, 200 spirit shards, one pouch which is empty, one gold charm, one green charm, one crimson charm, one blue charm. The quest items which are Ironbird's master plan, Holocryus proclamation, Bravix list, the Lost Elders book, Amulet charm, and the Mailer potion receipt. The recommended items are Super Anti Potion, Super Restore potion, some Combat Stat Boosting potions, the Crystal Teleport seed with some charges, a Ring of Kinship so you can get to Diamondheim, bring some food, and leave two free inventory slots open. When you're ready, we are continuing. Use the Lost on to Tyranven. Go northwest. To your east, cross the tripwire. Keep going east and follow the path to northeast. Jump across the leaves and keep going east. Enter the cave. Go east 
and there's a wall to your south with a red line on the minimap. Click on that to mine it and enter it. Go south and kill all of the automatons. To your south, click on Lady Treyhorn and select the chat options Repair the Exoskeleton. You've been in this cave all this time. It is time I'm gathering the clan leaders. Go north and exit through the tunnel. Go northwest, and from your inventory, click on the Amulet Charm and use it to the obelisk. Select the first chat option Create Amulet Pouch. From your inventory, click on the Amulet Pouch and select the chat options Are you my summoned creature now? Can I command you? It is time I'm gathering the clan leaders. Use the lodestone to Tyranwyn. Go west and click on the blue mushroom. You must have the mailer potion received in your inventory to do this. Go through the dense forest to your west all the way. Keep going southwest and click on the red mushrooms. Continue to northwest and click on the tripwire to pass it. Go through the dense forest twice. Do not go through the third one. Chop down a tree along the way. You should see some flames coming from the tree. Go through the dense forest once and click on the tree to your west. From your inventory, use the plant cure. To the tree. Talk to Lord Service and select the setup. So it is time I'm gathering the clan leaders. From your inventory, click on the crystal teleport seed. We are heading to Letia. Go northwest. Pass the tree. Head all the way south, and next we will be climbing over rocks across a really big swamp. Click on the rocks. To your south. Click on the rocks to your south and follow the path. Click on the southern rocks. Click on the western rocks.
click on the northern rocks. Click on the northwestern rocks. Click on the southwestern rocks. Click on the western rocks. Click on the southwestern rocks. Click on the western rocks. Click on the northern rock. Click on the northwestern rocks. Click on the northwestern rock. Click on the western rocks. Click on the northwestern rocks. Click on the southwestern rocks. Click on the southwestern rocks. Click on the western rock. Click on the western rocks. Click on the western rocks. Talk to Elf Hermit and select the Sharapsons. I seek the wisdom of Seren, Seren's faithfulness to the Elves, the symmetry of crystals. I don't know. It is time I'm gathering the clan leaders. From your inventory, click on both of the mushrooms to grind them. Use one of the grinded mushrooms to the super defense 3 dose potion. Right click your ring of kinship and teleport to Diamondheim. Drink the mailer's potion and head north to the dungeoneering lobby. Enter the portal to your west. Open the door to east and then north. Talk to Lady Mylar and select the setup so it is time I'm gathering the clan leaders. Use the crystal teleport seed. Go east and talk to Aryanvun. Select the setup so I'm ready to teleport. Talk to Eastin and select the Cherubson, that's all for now. Use the Lodestone to Porcher him. Go to the southeastern docks, and we will be using the Charter ships. Select Port Tyrus. Head east, and we will get to the camp this way. Follow the path and go north. Talk to General Hining. Select the Cherubson. The time has come to face the darkness. Use the crystal teleport seed, go to the bank, 
and this is the time for the final boss battle. For the boss battle, I would recommend you to use magic, because the enemies are weak against fire spells. Put on your weapon, bring 500 air and fire runes if you are using magic. Put on your armor and bring the previous quest items, which are Ironbird's Master Plan, Hulkrive's Proclamation, Bravik's List, The Lost Elder's Book, and the Mailer Potion Receive. The recommended items are Super Restore Potion, Combat stat boosting potions, such as the super magic potion, bring your crystal teleport seed with some charges so you can bank if necessary, bring a bunny pouch, or use a world tortoise pouch and fill it with food, fill up all of your free inventory spaces with food, and the enemies to defeat are up to level 107 shadows, which are weak against fire spells, and level 97 dark lord five times, which is weak against fire spells as well. When you are ready, we are continuing. When you are ready, talk to Arianvun and select the first shut option. I'm ready to teleport. Talk to Iestin. Enter the Western Grand Library door. Go west. And select the setup option OK. What do I do now? Talk to Lord Service, and this will start the first puzzle. I recommend you to use the Freedom Camera option so you can see absolutely everything. This is the first puzzle. Click on the mirrors to rotate them, and this way you will make the light go from the start to the end correctly. After you are done, click on the seal to activate it. Talk to Arianvun and select the chat option OK. What do I do now? Kill the shadows and it is time for the next puzzle. The start is to your south and just click on the mirrors to rotate them. The picture might be a little bit different, because it is an old picture from RuneScape 3 Wiki, but it will be good enough. Rotate the mirrors, so there is a light path to the center, and that will always solve the puzzle. Activate the seal. Kill the shadows. They will get stronger and stronger. And you can lobby or teleport out. And that way get more food if necessary. And you can always get back over here by using the crystal teleport seed and talking to Arianvun. For the third puzzle, start from the southwest and keep rotating the mirrors. After you are done, head back to the start and activate the seal. Select the second chat option, I don't want to talk, let's fight. Keep moving, protect from magic and avoid the vortex attacks.
And when you are ready, we are moving on to the fourth puzzle. Start from the west, put on the mirrors and work your way through. When you are done, head back to the seal and activate it. Select the second chat option, I don't want to talk, let's fight. Protect from magic and run around the room while killing the shadows. When you are done, let's continue. Let's start the puzzle from the west and it is the northern side seal. Put on the mirrors and complete the puzzle. When you are done, head west and back to the seal, which is the northern one. Click on it to activate it. Select the second chat option, I don't want to talk, let's fight. Protect from magic, run around the room and defeat the shadows. When you are done, it is time for the sixth puzzle. It begins from the north side and it is the western seal. Put on the mirrors and complete the puzzle.
When you are done, activate the seal from the northern side, it is the western one. Select the second chat option, I don't want to talk, let's fight. Protect from magic and run around the room while killing the shadows and the dark lord. When you are ready, let's continue. The puzzle starts from north and it is the eastern one. Put on the mirrors and complete the puzzle. Your solution might be different, just make sure the light goes to the center. When you are ready, head north and it is the eastern seal. Click on it to activate it and select the second chat option. I don't want to talk, let's fight. Protect from magic, run around the room and defeat the shadows. When you are done, let's continue. The puzzle starts from the eastern side and it is the most northern seal. Work your way through by placing the mirrors. I made a little mistake over there, which I will fix later.
When you are done, activate the seal from the eastern side and it is the northern one. I made a little mistake, so I just have to rotate this single mirror. Select the first chat option open bank deposit box because you need 15 free inventory slots. Deposit all of your food and the empty vial plus all of the potions you have. Talk to Arganbun. Congratulations. Lake Send quest completed. Talk to Arianbun and select the second chat option. Can you teleport me to Priftiness? Click on the nearby guards and pass through. Keep going up the hill to west and we will soon arrive at Priftiness. We are just unlocking the lodestone and I will show you which items you can get rid of. You can skip the cutscene if you want to. Keep going north and there will be the lodestone shortly. Click on the lodestone to activate it. Pat yourself on the back. This isn't an easy quest to complete. Rub the lamps and you can basically get rid of all of the quest items. So it is the proclamation, the list, potion receipt, master plan, the lost elders book, also the mailers, potion and keep the exoskeleton outfit. It reduces your weight. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.